Compared to what the Palpatine vs. 4 Jedi duel could have been, stunt coordinator Nick Gillard considers this fight to be a massive f*** up. Don't just let him stab you slowly or something stupid like that. So what went wrong? Well, for one, actor Ian McDermott was never supposed to be doing the fight. It was always the plan for the whole thing to be done by stunt doubles, with Ian only coming in for close-up shots. Then, when the day of filming came, George Lucas suddenly deemed it necessary for Ian himself to do the fight. I mean, if you, can't, you can't change Ian, you gotta change the fight. But he didn't know the choreography. He's a 60-year-old classical Shakespearean actor with no experience sword fighting. And on top of this, he literally had 15 minutes to learn the lightsaber moves that same day. So of course they had to cut out some of the best and most complicated sequences. There were some some serious Jedi in that scene, and we the fans should have been given the opportunity to see them in action, Kit Fisto in particular. But with it now being a fair 1v1, Palpatine starts backing Mace out of his office. Wait a second, what's Anakin doing here already? In the original version, Anakin was in the Chancellor's office from the beginning, and witnessed the entire duel. When the Jedi walk in, Palpatine would use the force to grab Anakin's blue Jedi weapon rather than attacking with his Crimson Sith Blade. Realizing that it's kind of odd for Anakin to just stand there the whole time watching and doing nothing, they went back and did some reshoots to cut him out. They didn't redo the whole fight, so there's a lot of shots where even though the lightsaber's red, he's clearly holding Anakin's hilt. I'll tolerate the errors, because Anakin's ultimate choice to betray the Jedi works a lot better in the final version. Having him come running into the room with Palpatine not fighting, but already down on the ground appearing as a weak, defeated old man makes his decision more reasonable. Fun fact, in this shot where Anakin is running, the lobby set was actually designed for a sequence before the main duel, where the four Jedi would have took on Palpatine's royal guards. In this concept art, you could see that as they walk in, Darwak, the Chancellor's secretary, would have been sitting right in the middle at his desk. With absolutely no regard for this public servant's safety, the Jedi raise their hands and send him flying against the wall with the Force. That's when the Imperial Guards take their positions and prepare to attack. I unfortunately don't have any behind the scenes footage of this yet. I texted Nick the other day and he confirmed that he does. It's on an old DV tape from 2003 and he's still working on getting it transferred over, but rest assured that I'll be analyzing it on the channel as soon as I get my hands on it. For now, if you're looking to see a cool fight against multiple bodyguards, tap over here for a deleted scene where Obi-Wan takes on six of Grievous's Magna Guards. Do it.